Hey guys, my name is Greg Karras. I play guitar for Andy Grammer. And we're here today to talk about the, uh, the new exotic SP compressor and the BB Plus preamp. Due to the nature of what a compressor is, you know, it's, a, it's an op amp circuit and there's a lot of gain happening and stuff like that. So if you have any noise in your signal chain already, it's just going to amplify that a lot. This particular guitar is probably <clears throat> great because it's the perfect litmus test. It's uh, as close to a vintage Strat as you can get. All three of the single coils are, you know, the, the same wind direction, so n there's no hum canceling anywhere at all. You know, it's just wide open, there's no Faraday caging, no noise reduction, nothing like that. And it's awesome, but at the same time, you know, that, that also comes into play. And when you use a cable, like a really nice cable, that's one thing, but you throw a wireless in there, that adds more gain to the equation. Man, I can't even tell you, like some of these venues that you'll play, even really nice venues, it just depends on where you are. The lights. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Like oh. even, when, even when the guitar is off, you just have like so much potential for noise in the system. So I went through a lot of different compressors because um, that's a big thing. It's the first thing in my chain. Um, and so far, the SP has been a joy and um, <clears throat> so much lower noise than, than most of the competition out there uh, without sacrificing tone mm -hmm. or feel, which is really important to me. Since, since we tested out, I've left it where we had it with, the, uh, with a really um, open attack setting so that you get, like, you get as much of the transient when you pluck a note as possible. It's, I mean, it's really great for country stuff. <laughs> play um, <laughs> uh, so settings um, yeah I've got volume up at 12 o'clock blend up at 75% uh, and the uh, the compression switch on low right now when you use it with an overdrive pedal because I like to stack gain and stuff like that it also really helps give you punch so like here's the uh, here's the BB and the SP <laughs> helps to fatten things up a little bit. I'm going to turn the SP off and you'll hear the difference. And with it on. I use this board for all of our fly dates. So I've used basically every single wireless under the right. sun. Like, I remember this one show, I had this wireless unit. They were, they were newer, but they were kind of microphonic. So even with everything off, even with all my pedals, like, you could, you could knock on the unit and you could hear it through the amp. You could just, like, knock on the housing of the unit. Then when you turn on an overdrive or something like that, oh, it's just, you know, you have subs on stage kicking. It's just like... It just freaks out. Yeah, and, you know, stuff like that people don't think about, I guess, every day. But, you know, when you're touring and you're on the road, all these variables come into play, and it's so important to find something that's like, you know, low noise. Something they can rely on. Yeah. yeah. The thing that I'll tweak uh, more than anything else, probably like a little bit of the blend and the volume, because mm -hmm. um, I still have a little bit more to go. And it's usually like, you know, going from this guitar to a Les Paul, it sort of helps me match the, uh, the uh, um, output of, of like a more powerful humbucker, something like that. The dip switches on the back is really cool because you can get a lot more out of the pedal in a small package. Mm -hmm. So messing around with those, um, I found the attack settings that work better for this. Um, but the uh, that high pass filter function is really cool, um, and I think it's something that like nobody else has on a compressor pedal right now. And then the other thing that's super 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 awesome, um, talking about wireless units or like if you have an active preamp in your guitar, mm -hmm. is the, um, the pad switch, the input pad switch, which is another one of the dip switches on the back. 
uh, super useful. If I'm in a situation where I don't have control over the output levels of a wireless unit or something like that, mm -hmm. I can flip that dip switch in there and it brings it down, I think, 10 dB. Yeah. Or if I had an active guitar or something like that I was using, mm -hmm. also really useful. Because you don't want to hit the front end of a compressor too hard and then it's just all squish. Right. So then, it's, then it becomes too much. Mm -hmm.